Well, I am not surprised at all, Mr. Morgan, that Mr. Dershowitz, your guest, is defending the murderous Israeli army because he's used, he's famous for defending murderers in American courts. I think he's used to that. Huh. He's even famous for defending sex traffickers like Epstein. And of course, he will defend those who are committing Can genocide. Can we get to the point instead of how having ad hominems? No, I, 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 I have to say, I have to say, say, let me, let me, Mr. Barghouti, I have to say, let me answer, lawyers, let me lawyers, answer. lawyers defend people who they often may personally have serious issues with. There's nothing unusual about a lawyer. I've defended defending. Palestinians. I've defended no, no. terrorists. I have defended but let me, people let me from finish Hamas. My I've sentence. defended, yeah. Yeah, well, you, you can finish, but, really but if you're going to go out, you, you if you're going to attack him for, for defending bad people, we're going to be here all night. So stick to the, the question. Uh, I, uh, I would I even defend you. you. Allow me I would to defend speak. your don't right you to make so? the lies or, that you've or said. If you don't want yeah. me to speak, can you shut up so that I can speak? Shut up, please. I want to say that what you see in Gaza now is an act of genocide because 12,000 children have been killed. And these are not 19 years old. These are five, six years old and three years old and two years old. These are children for God's sake. I am against the killing of 30 Israeli children, which happened on the 7th of October, because they are children and civilians. But nothing in the world could justify, because of the killing of 30 children, the killing of 12,000 other Palestinian children. That is unacceptable. I am, uh, you should look at, at the real figures. 30,000 Palestinian civilians have been killed. And 72,000 people have been injured civilians. by the Israeli they murderous say 30, army. Altogether, this is 4.5% of the population. Pay, hold on, hold on. I did not interrupt you, so shut up and let me finish. 4.5% of the population of Gaza have been killed or injured. If that had happened in the United States of America, you would be talking about 12 million people killed or injured in four months of time. Is that acceptable? and mostly civilians, 70% are civilians. More than that, Israel is killing Palestinians not only with this terrible genocide with their bombardment, they are killing Palestinians with starvation. This terrible siege, 50,000 pregnant <coughs> women, Palestinian women don't find a place to give birth in. 64,000 breastfeeding women cannot help their babies. And more than that, 700,000 people are now starving because Israel is preventing milk, flour, food to the population of Gaza City and the north of Gaza. And more than that, they shoot the Palestinian hungry people when they are trying to get some food.